This dog was named Jackson, and he looked a bit worse for wear that day sat on all his own, with no one there to care for him. If you were in Altoona on this day, you might have caught sight of Jackson and initially felt sorry for him, especially with no owner in sight. Many approached him on his own to see if he was okay. The sweet golden retriever sat upright outside the store, gaining a lot of attention. Firstly because of its cuteness, but also because it appeared to be without an owner or anyone caring for it. People became concerned. Furthermore, if you had gotten close enough, or if you had been particularly sharp eye, you probably saw the sign Jackson wore, and this sign may have made many animal lovers perturbed at first. After all, it's not unknown for dogs to be abandoned next to messages asking rescuers to find them homes. You see, Jackson used to be a shelter dog. He was rescued after being found abandoned when he was just a puppy. He was in a pretty bad shape when he was found, and the shelter longed for him to find a new and happy home, but someone that loved him. Three-year-old Jackson was adopted by Steve Moore just one month ago. It was indeed Moore who had put the sign around the dog's neck that day that attracted attention. Many passerby were wondering what the sign said and if the owner was good or bad. As target shoppers were coming and going, they noticed a patient and sweet-looking dog just sat obediently outside the store with this so-called sign around its neck. And the first thing that came to mind was how long it had been waiting for there. Was the owner really going to come back? The words in the sign read, Dad told me to wait here, I'm waiting. So anyone who stopped to pet the adorable canine would be sure that he was not out by himself. And luckily for Jackson, the dog's patience made him quite a few fans. In fact, Jackson became so popular that he was even the subject of 2011 segment by WTHA, and the Pennsylvanian station cameras revealed how Jackson garnered a lot of attention by sitting outside a Target store waiting for his daddy. What's more, the clip shows how surprised Moore was by the public's reaction to Jackson. Everybody wanted to take him home. I just find that amazing, because four weeks ago, nobody wanted him. Moore told WTAJ. In fact, the dog's discipline has impressed several people walking by the pooch. I wish my dogs were like you. One passerby remarks to Jackson in the news segment and you're being so good. Another person is captured on film saying that Jackson's dedication was incredible, which is a good description of it. Perhaps most remarkable of all, however, is the fact that Moore has no professional dog training experience but trained the sweet dog to sit and wait for him so patiently. Moore has in fact attributed Jackson's excellent behavior to pure hard work and trust rather than any insider knowledge on his owner's part. And when Moore was asked by WTAJ if it really is possible to teach an old dog new tricks, he responded, Oh, absolutely, you can train any dog. Moore added, It's all about the attitude you have and what you're willing to offer to interest the dog. And as it turns out, the way to Jackson's heart is through stomach. So Moore uses food as incentives. In particular, Jackson has a weakness for peanut butter molasses and blueberries, but it wasn't always easy. He had to give the poor pooch a lot of tender love and care as he was traumatized from being abandoned. Moore has been very patient with his new best friend to show him love and that he is safe now. He also taught the golden retriever to remain in place even if strangers stuck at his leash. This really impressed the passerby at just how loyal and clever the dog was. Furthermore, Jackson has been trained so well that he can sit near busy roads without any worry he might wander. And while that may sound dangerous, Moore is nevertheless confident in this dog's behavior. I wouldn't bring him out here if I thought he would run into traffic, Jackson's owner explained to WTAJ. Moore has suggested that positive reinforcement is the key, that is giving your pet a reward for doing something good. And your treat could be food, affection, or a toy, anything that will tell them that they have done well. He said that finding the pooch was the best reward he could have been given and feels like the dog saved his life. He was quite lonely before and now he has a new sense of purpose. He believes that they both saved each other. Still, regardless of a dog's breed, it takes patience, trust and hard work to train your pet. When it's done right, though the results speak for themselves, Jackson is a definite case in point. Moore spoke of how he never imagined a pet could bring him so much happiness and he is so grateful that he found Jackson just a month ago. Plus, your dedication will be given back in spades from your dog, as Moore will testify. I just get a real feeling of satisfaction in working with a dog and bringing out his potential, Jackson's owner told WTAJ. And then when he looks at you like that, oh boy, what did he think about his dog becoming famous? To think that the shoppers thought that the little furry friend was in danger 
it was because of his kind, caring owner that he was rescued into a loving home. The dog even became famous because of the cool tricks that he taught him. So what now for the cute canine? Every day, Steve had trained Jax in using trees as a reward, and one of the tricks he learned was to sit still and ignore distractions. Now, whenever they are out and about, especially in busy places, it's like a training ground. The more distractions there are, the better. Hiding out of sight, Steve would watch Jackson's reaction and reward him accordingly. With much patience and effort, it looks like Jackson can now sit still through just about whatever a trip to the store with his owner can throw at him. When this story hit the local news station, little Jackson became a local hero. Moore made a habit of bringing him to the store with him when he needed to run errands, so that local people could meet him and it made their day. If he and Jackson could bring people happiness, then that made him extremely happy. And it's perhaps not surprising that Moore trusted in Jackson, considering the character traits that Golden Retrievers typically have. They're loyal and friendly dogs, for instance, as well as being highly intelligent. Such qualities, moreover, have made them a popular choice as assistant dogs for the blind and deaf. When Moore is feeling sad, he says his loyal friend knows instantly and comes to cheer him up. Plus, Golden Retrievers' amicable natures have made them in demand as family pets. The breed is so common, in fact, that in 2016, it was named the third most popular type of dog in the U.S. by the American Kennel Club. And fortunately, the clever canines are relatively simple to train. So, it seems that its furry friend and him were extremely happy to have found each other.